In our last segment, we walked around the exterior of this 20-year-old home to learn why these homeowners were replacing almost all of their windows and doors. With energy efficiency problems, some minor rot issues, and the need for more style, they were looking for windows that would solve their short-term problems and provide a long-term solution. So let's catch up with Andy Lindis from Lindis Construction to see what the homeowners have selected. Well, here it is, Stu. This is the new Season Guard Bay Window. Now, they've opted for the casement operators on the both side. You can get these in double hung and or sliders. Boy, is this ever nice. Now, you say it's new. Is this a different version of what you've sold in the past? You know, this past year, we met with 17 different manufacturers to make sure we can give our homeowners the latest and greatest in window technology. And we've designed this window for this climate. You can see how smooth that window operates right there. That's extremely smooth as I was opening it. You couldn't even feel it going out. Now, you notice the screens here? This is our OptiView screening. Not only is it nearly invisible when the sun hits it and you're looking outside, it lets about 50% more air come through. And when you think about it, you have your window open to let air come in. You don't want the screen, big screens, blocking that air coming in so all the breeze can come in and it's nearly invisible to the human eye. I'm looking out there, you cannot even tell that it's there. The only way is that it looks a little shaded like the windows there. It just it's amazing how clean that is. This locking system seems to be very secure as well. Yeah, it actually has a four-point locking system, so when you close the casement window, the locking system actually pushes the weather stripping in to make sure that it has the absolute best air infiltration rating possible. Now, earlier I was telling you about the Energy Star home that we had tested. We had all brand new Season Guard windows in this home. This home tested in the top 5% of homes that the Energy Star people have ever tested, and the windows they tried to get our windows to leak air and they couldn't. The Energy Star person actually looked at me and said, this is the best window I've ever tested for air infiltration. You can look up here at the NFRC, the lowest rating they could actually go to is a .01. The actual rating on this window is a .03, which is unheard of in the window industry. That's amazing. And that shows you how the industry has evolved. You went to great pains, it sounds like, to get the best window possible for your clients. Yes, we did. The other thing I wanted to point on these windows, Stu, I get the opportunity to go into home after home after home, and people like to know, you know, do you know what type of windows I have in my house? And you can't find what type of windows it is. So very subtly, in the corner of every one of our windows, we have etched Season Guard. Because I want the homeowner, not tomorrow, the next homeowner, the next homeowner after that, to know if something goes wrong, they know who to call because we're going to fix it. And again, you said it's a lifetime guarantee lifetime warranty on any of the operable parts or any of the window itself. Yeah, lifetime finish warranty, lifetime seal failure, lifetime workmanship, a lifetime warranty in all moving parts. Every aspect of the window is covered for you, the next person that owns a home, the next person that owns a home. I want to know if something goes bad in my windows, I'm going to take care of it. Well, Andy, it looks like Jake and the crew have removed the old window and have it prepped for the installation of the new one. Now let's quickly review what's gotten us to this point. Well, you can see all the siding has been removed to below the window. So we get a full installation on this. And if you look up, we removed the soffit area here and attached our blocking system to the actual roof joists themselves. That is what we're gonna connect the cables from the bay window to. Not only does it make it an easier installation, once it's set and we get it almost close, just a couple of turns of the screw, we can adjust it to make sure that the reveal is the same on both sides and it's completely square. So there's really virtually no support from underneath. It's the cables that hold that several hundred pound window in place. That is exactly true. You know, there are some screws that go into here just to make sure that it can't move, but it's the cable system that holds that window up. That's really slick, just like the window itself. But it's very important, the preparation of the rough opening. This looks to be in pretty good shape. It is, you know, there was some woodwork that had to be done on the inside to make sure everything was square and nice. And then we put down our flex tape. Now we've tested over 10 different types of taping to go in the bottom of our sills of the window and we've settled on this one here. What this flex tape does, you can see there's not a seam in it the whole way. And it's gonna ensure on the unlikely chance that water does get underneath this window, it's gonna have a drainage plane so it can get back outside the house wrap and outside of the siding. So again, with professional installation, the odds of water getting in here are pretty slim, but you're saying, hey, if it ever does, what's the worst case scenario? It's gonna come down here and it's gonna be a drainage plane that leads it right out. Exactly. Okay, well, let's step back, get out of the way. I'm anxious to see how these guys install it. We can see the end result in a few minutes. Sounds like a plan. Oh, 
looks like the guys have installed this window with relative ease, although it is a seven, 800 pound window. Yeah, this, this window definitely did weigh a lot. We're able to take out the operating casements, just leave the center sash in, make it a little bit easier. You notice at the bottom of this window, you see that where the cable comes through the bottom? Oh, that's what that is. Right down there, I can see them. They both hang down. Yep, the cable actually comes down through the bottom, supporting the bottom, all the way up to the roof trusses. That's how this whole window is held in place. And then just a few fasteners through the edge into the actual framing itself makes it a perfect installation. And the homeowners aren't going to have to worry about that shifting at all. Or no, you're not going to have to worry about shifting or anything. You notice the actual wedges that we use in the bottom? Sure. It's a composite wedge, not a wood wedge, so you don't have to worry about the wood ever compressing or if water were ever to get in there, it can't rot out the wedges. And as you mentioned earlier, one of the main reasons for replacing not only this window but all the windows in the home was energy efficiency. What are you going to do to ensure good energy efficiency around here? You know, we're going to actually actually go with the spray foam gun on both the sides and the top on the interior and the exterior before we install the siding or the interior trim. There's going to be absolutely no way for air to penetrate either the outside of the window or the inside of the window. Now what are you going to do down here? There was an insulated seat before. Are they going to go with that same style again? We're actually going to go with the five inch insulated seat in the bottom here. That's going to be a lot better than that pink stuff they had in there. And then we're going to reside this house to give it a nice finished look. It's going to be perfectly seamless. Stick around. We'll check out a new window installation that's more effective, more efficient, and saves the homeowner money next.